So then the next big thing that you did was not a good experience called Nine Months. A good film and a big hit, but a bad experience for you. Well, yes, they, they, they're very talented people who made that film and really uh, brilliant actors around and, and nice Julianne people. Moore, for God's sake. Julianne Moore, Robin Williams. Yes, Jeff Chris Goldberg. Columbus. Yes, yeah, exactly. All brilliant. And the only one booby who let them down, and that was me. <laughs> Not, not only was I terrible in the film, uh, but I then chose to get arrested here in Hollywood <laughs> a week before Good the film move. came out. In the early hours of this morning on Hollywood's famous Sunset Boulevard, Hugh Grant was seen by officers from the Los Angeles Vice Squad picking up a known prostitute. To this day, people talk about the way you handled that situation, which was apologizing and not making excuses. Well, which has I, become I, strangely admirable in retrospect. I the way you I handled it. Not I, I don't really remember apologizing. I'm not sure who I was supposed to apologize to. I, mean, I, was, I was just an idiot. But I, it's true, I didn't try and um, say, you know, I, I have got the psychological problems. Or anything. I, don't, I just said I did it. I think you know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, b a bad thing. And um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. <laughs> I remember <laughs> the night of the event calling my agent, who was a very, very um, nice guy, very, uh, very good agent, very powerful agent here, but who n never says anything negative about anything. Everything's great. <laughs> and I said, uh, hi, Richard, um, so I've just been arrested with this hooker. Um, is that bad? <laughs> and he said, oh, that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time I ever heard him say anything less than it, it must have also been a <laughs> lesson in that the second the movie came out and was a hit, the offers just kept pouring in. It yeah, seemed well, that's, not... Yeah, that's right. That seems to be the Hollywood way. As long as you make money, they don't, they don't care what you get up to. Um, Elizabeth Hurley stayed with you during yes. that time. Yes. Um, th your relationship with Elizabeth, which, which started then in I don't know, 13 years or whatever it is, is a has become sort of a great love story, even though you're not together now and it has certainly evolved, but that you were together for that long, that you went through clearly ups and downs, and then stayed great, great friends yeah. after. Yes, yes, I, well, we are, we're like brother and sister. You um, still talk every day? Well, I wouldn't say every day, but we send each other silly messages and uh, Yes, I, and I think it's partly because we went from zero to somewhere together, and we went, we went through terrible years at the beginning, what we call the winter of discontent, and neither of us had any work, and living in a tiny flat in Earl's Court. It was quite bonding, those things. And then the success makes it sometimes even more difficult. <laughs> right? well, yeah, I suppose so. But, uh, um, no, she's a, she's a good egg. Wanted to be happy. <laughs>